Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. This is lecture 17 of the artificial intelligence course. In order to solve various problems and to draw some conclusions, we often have information already stored in our brain that we can utilize. But how is that information stored in our brain? There are a lot of possibilities. Today, we are focusing one of them, which is the semantic, semantic network. We'll see how, what is the meaning of semantic network and we'll also talk about nodes and arts in semantic network with examples. In the last lectures, we have looked into different knowledge representation scheme namely the propositional logic and first order logic or predicate logic. Today, we'll start discussing on another mode of representation of knowledge known as semantic nets. The word semantic means meaning. As a computer science student, you're already familiar with two words, semantics, which is essentially the grammar of a language and semantics is the meaning of any sentence. So I may form the sentence correctly, which means it may be syntactically correct, but it must be meaningful. In order to be meaningful, it should be semantically correct. When do you say a particular sentence or statement is meaningful? A sentence is meaningful when we can really understand it and map it to some of the known concepts of the real world in which we live or see or can visualize. Whatever we look at, for example, if I look at this room, then I'll be looking at different chairs, tables, etc. Now, each of these are different concepts. And the chair, for example, is made up of wood. There can be chairs which are not made of wood, that may be made of iron, steel, or some other material. So whenever we talk of chair, we can think of some other associations related to the chair. Similarly, whenever we use a word, say a boy, then it got so many other associations. A boy will be at most of say 18 years old. He will be having height, will be having weight, and usually may be going to school. So there are so many other associations that come up with the concept. So whenever we use any particular word, we are actually referring to some concept and along with that concept, we immediately associate some other related concept. And this association of the different concepts builds of our knowledge system or our knowledge base. This is another view of looking at knowledge that knowledge can be represented as a network of different concepts. Any collection of facts or information cannot be knowledge unless it is used for inferring some new facts. If we consider semantic net as a knowledge representation scheme, then it must also have some particular inference mechanism by which it can utilize this representation to infer new things to answer different questions. The idea of semantic nets dates back to 1966 in two very important papers that were written by Rose Quillen, who was one of the early workers of artificial intelligence. 
He tried to represent the organization of human semantic memory or knowledge as a hierarchical network. It is used for analyzing meanings of words within sentences. Semantic network is simple representation scheme which uses a directed graph consisting of nodes which represent concepts and directed arcs to which represent semantic relation between the concepts. In this, concepts can be represented as hierarchies of interconnected concept nodes. For example, it is very natural to draw the link between cats and animals to say that cats are animals. A concept may have a number of associated attributes at a given level. Animal has had an animal can walk. This is one level. Cat is on another level where there is another association attached to it. Cat likes milk. This association is not related with all the with all animals. This is in this graph, it is only associated with the cat. Nodes in the semantic network represent objects that may object may be name, attribute, or any attribute value, and the arts are links define binary relations which hold between objects denoted by the nodes. On the right side, uh, on the right, there is a propositional logic in front of which is the equivalent semantic nets, where the nodes represent the objects and their links are the predicates that are in the propositional logic. The structure of the network defines its meaning. The meanings are merely which, has, which node has a pointer to which other node. The network defines a set of binary relations on a set of nodes. To begin simply, let us introduce two nodes and a link. Cat is a market. The node on the right labeled cant is linked to the node on the left labeled market, and the arrow is labeled is a cant is an example of a market. The diagram, in other words, represents the fact that there is a binary relation between a market cant and the concept of a market. Another node with the label Raja Bazaar and is a link from this node to the market node could be added again, representing that Raja Bazaar is a type of market. If a retailer node is added to this figure, the structure of the network becomes as markets generally contain retailing entities. To add an example of a retailer, we add a node label Ahmed Garments and two links, one from the retailer Ahmed Garments to Raja Bazaar labeled is a and one from the node Ahmed Garments to the node retailer. This illustrates that Ahmed Garment is a retailer in the Raja Bazaar. Now it is important to note that the node labeled market represents the generic or meta concept of a market. It can be thought of as possessing properties common to all markets. The node Rajan Bazaar represents a particular market. The node retailer again represents the concept of a retailer that is common across all particular retailers. And Ahmed 
garment is one instance of such a retailer. We can distinguish the two types of nodes using boxes and circles. Semantic network representation consists of four parts. The lexical part includes nodes, arts or links and their labels. The structural part shows that how the links and nodes form a directed graph. The procedural part specifies the access, the access procedures that is to create, modify the nodes and to generate answer questions. If constructor is a procedure, then it will allow creation of new links and nodes. Similarly, if destructor or modify is a procedure, then it will do their uh, it will do their actions. Modify will modify the nodes and the destructor will allow to delete the links and nodes. Semantic establishes the way of associating the meaning of the nodes attached to the, attached with the link. Inheritance is an important property of semantic nets. The idea of this is that if an object belongs to a class, it inherits all the properties of that class and can be represented by is a link. In general, if concept X has property P, then all concepts that are a subset of X should also have property P. In this example, if we say Robin is a bird and bird is animal and bird has wings, then two robin, red is a robin and rusty is a robin, then red and rusty both must have the properties of bird, which in, in this example, the property of bird is that has wings. So rusty and red must have wings because they inherited this property from their superclass. Non-binary relations. We have seen how binary relationships may be represented by arcs and by arcs in the semantic nets. But what about relationships with more than two arguments? For example, how we can represent the sentence John gave Mary the book in the in the semantic networks. In predicate logic, we could have a three day predicate give whose first argument is the giver, second argument the object that is given and third argument is the person to whom it was given. This way, this can be resolved is to consider the act of giving a separate object. We can represent the generic give event as a relation involving three things in the semantic network, a giver, a recipient, and an object. This is also known as conceptual graph. Conceptual graphs are semantic nets representing the meaning of sentences in natural language. Another example of some conceptual graph is can be seen in this graph. John goes to New York by bus. This is an example of a propositional logic. If a farmer owns a donkey, then he beats it. This can be converted into semantic net as 
and this graph can again be translated to the following predicate logic. Reasoning is equivalent to graph matching. A question network is generated for each question. We get an answer when the question network matches to a subgraph of the semantic network. If a graph is given and a question is asked, then following the links between the nodes, one can deduce the answer. So this is an example of how answer can be generated using semantic networks. Just follow the links and nodes and conclude the answer. WordNet, WordNet is an example of a semantic network, which is a lexical database of English. It groups English words into sets of synonyms called Synsets provide short general definition and records the various semantic relations between these synonym sets. These are some of the advantages of semantic networks. They are simple and can be easily implemented and understood. The semantic network is more natural than the logical representation. It permits using of effective graphical algorithms they are efficient in space requirements as objects are represented once and the relationships are handled by pointers they are easy to translate into prolog and nowadays in python some of the applications of semantic networks include document processing question processing query expansion we can use semantic networks in searching. It can be used in answer generation and answer selection. Students are encouraged to make a semantic net of the following. Thank you.